Hey guys, it's Bub here, and this video we're taking a look at Project Memphis, which is a custom version of Windows 10 IoT LTSC 2021 that aims to make that version of Windows look like Windows 98. We've taken a look at previous projects that have made Windows 10 look like Windows 2000, Windows 95, but never Windows 98. So I'm very excited to get into this and take a look at this OS. Now, this OS was made by, and I know I'm going to screw this name up, I'm really sorry, uh, Mr. Amayoskin. I know I screwed up saying that, I'm very sorry. Full credit to that developer for creating this OS. So this is actually something new here. Oh, there we go, wow. We saw it boot into the traditional Windows 10 or 11 out-of-box experience, and then it rebooted back into, it, well, it looks like a Windows 98 installer. I actually, fun fact, like last night I installed Windows 98 second edition just for fun, and so I'm actually very familiar here. Oh, you can even pick whether you want UEFI or Legacy. Well, we're going to go UEFI, and we're going to select our disk size. It does look like it's now formatting the drive. Uh, so while we wait for this, I'm going to read some of the information I have for you about Project Memphis. Um, again, it is Windows 10 IoT LTSC 2021 that is made to look and feel like Windows 98 Second Edition. Windows Update is disabled, as we have looked at in the past, because future updates of Windows does break stuff like this. But you could enable it if you want through group policy, which is pretty cool. There are known issues with this build because this build is actually only released on January 23rd of 2025. And at the date of this recording, it's February 2nd. So this is a recent release of this project. Again, as always, this is for showcasing purposes only. If you want to use this as your main OS, well, first of all, I wouldn't recommend it. But do it at your own risk because this could be buggy and using anything other than the official version of Windows from Microsoft is not recommended at all. All right, and here we go. So setup has completed. We're going to press enter here, and it does appear like it's going to reboot our setup experience and should bring us into the out-of-box experience. Now, based on what I've seen so far, I would expect the out-of-box experience will look something very similar to Windows 98. However, obviously, they have not perfected the startup screen, which I don't blame them. The startup screen is really hard to modify on something like this to look like Windows 98. All right, and here we are inside of Project Memphis. So there was no actual uh, out-of-box experience. We just got brought straight into the desktop. Um, and here we are. Well, we had the Windows 98 welcome screen, but it does appear like it just crashed, and I can't actually do anything here. Uh, maybe that is a known error. I'm not sure. So the first thing we are going to do is get VMware Tools installed on here just for, for a better experience. Um, and then we will go from there. So VMware Tools have been installed here. And as many of you have commented in my videos that my 1440p monitor has is unrealistic because you can't see the actual contents, just know that I am trying here to resize the, the VM so you can see a little better. And... What is that, like 10 errors trying to change the resolution? Um, so yeah, I guess we're just going to have to suffer through this. I understand things are small because it's even small on my monitor. So that being said, as we look at this OS, just remember that we're running Windows 10. Just remember that. So on the desktop, we have my computer. We also have my documents, Internet Explorer, which opens at least a theme of Internet Explorer. I'm not actually sure what this is running. Um, if we go to help, oh, it's Firefox themed to be Internet Explorer. Got it. I didn't actually know Firefox offered so many themes. We have Network Neighborhood, which is just, it just appears to be a folder. Then we have our typical recycle bin. Online services like America Online. I would actually be curious to know if this is the real, I think this is the real America Online. Like these are real yeah it is because this app can't run on your pc like this is the real deal from 1998 we then have set up msn internet access which is yet again just another folder outlook express which airs out and connect to the internet which is a connect to the internet wizard that is failing and then we have welcome to project memphis which is a let's see here a wordpad document so here's a list of credits uh windhawk mods um, and again, known issues. Again, here is that Mr. I pronounced his name wrong. I'm not going to try it again. Credit to this guy for making this OS. We really do appreciate it. Down in the right hand corner of the taskbar, we have our time. We have task scheduler is ready. I'm assuming that this uses tasks. We have our volume slider, which does actually sound like Windows 98. VMware tools, I installed that. Safely remove hardware and Bluetooth. That's something you probably wouldn't see 
in Windows 98 and I just opened Windows 10 settings which does kind of ruin this immersion here uh, but it is pretty cool to see that you can actually still get here so, uh, so we'll just double check the version here Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC and this build appears to have been started on the 21st of December 2024 so that's pretty cool let's move over to the left side of the task where we have a shortcut to our Outlook Express shortcut to Firefox and a show desktop button in the start menu we can see that we do have that traditional Windows 98 animation where things just open up like it springs up from the taskbar on the top we have Windows update which is appears to be the actual HTML file from Windows 98 uh, for Windows update pretty cool we also have programs so maintenance is Windhawk startup is T clock typical accessories I mean I'm assuming these are all like Windows 98 accessories or at least remade Windows 98 accessories. There we go. So again, we do see some errors throughout the OS, but granted, you're making things look like they're 20 years old, so I expect errors. Over 25 years, actually, I lied. Wow. Moving down, we have Windows Administrative Tools, which appears to be empty. Online Services, which appears to be that Windows 98, like the legitimate software from Windows 98. Um, moving down, we then have the MS-DOS Prompt, which is this I think this is just command prompt um, yeah this does appear to be command prompt although it does look like they changed that up there then we have Outlook Express and Windows Explorer which is the themed Windows Explorer that actually looks like Windows 98's I do remember opening this moving down we have our favorites which is we even favorited like what's usually in Windows 98 like the radio station guide um, let's see if we can get there I don't believe it's gonna work but they even went as far as putting that in there. That's pretty cool. Documents, settings, we can go to our control panel. We can see everything here. Coming back to the start menu, we then have our find, our help, which does appear to be full Windows 98 help. And then our run dialog, where we can type Winver and see that we are running Windows 98. Or, well, actually Windows 10, but people don't need to know that. In terms of CPU disk usage and RAM usage, let's actually see if I can figure that out here. Um, let's open this. We can see that we are using, that is not where I wanted to go, hold on. If I go to local disk C, we are using 13 gigs of our 60 gig disk, 13.7 to be precise, not too bad. And if I can get task manager open, there we go. We can go to, I did not mean to do that, performance. We can see that we're using 1% of our CPU and 1.82 of, I believe, 8 gigs of RAM. So not bad at all for a Windows 10 installation that's running all of these mods. So that being said, this is a brief overview of Project Memphis. It is really cool to see something like this. I love taking a look at OSs that do this. Again, it is very buggy, but I do believe it's in the early stages of actual development. So I look forward to seeing what this brings in the future. With that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here, as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.